Hey guys. Ooh, I already got some people in here. Hello, hello everybody and hello replay folks when you get here. Hi Leanne. Hey Grumpus. Thank you guys so much for being here. How's it been going today? You guys ready for summer? Because it's starting to feel like summer here. I am uh, still drinking these. If y'all follow me on Instagram, these are like seriously a new favorite. These um, sparkling seltzers. Hey, hey. Hey, Chris. Yeah, you know, I like winter too, except for the snow thing. As long as we don't got have to go through the snow thing again I'll be good I just like cold um, hey son of a pizza man oh hey Stephanie ginger snap kitchen hello hello hope everybody's doing okay yeah but it's getting hot here we're already back to fighting flies and mosquitoes and uh, it's the worst part of it All right, guys, so I'm going to start the ticker. I'm going to show you what's on the menu, what we're going to do here in just a little bit. Feels so fancy. All right, so tonight we're going to do a really, really simple uh, chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. And then here in a little bit, I'm going to make a drink. I'm going to do a rum punch. That's another one I've been enjoying. It's not locale at all. It's got the full flavors, full sugar juices and things. Oh, there's a fly in here now. Um, but it's so good. Love it. So that is what's on the menu. It's starting about 10 minutes. And it might get crazy. I've got the husband and kids milling around over here. <laughs> Is anybody else fighting the spring pollen? You guys, I've been, like, everybody's having crazy allergies around here, too. Hello, Motherhood Home Cooking. Thank you for coming in. Hey, Russell, what's up? Hey, Charlotte. Thank you, my friend. So happy to see you. So tonight, guys, we're going to make an easy chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. And then here in a little bit, I'm going to make you my version of a rum punch. Shots, 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 shots. Yeah, they do. The allergies truly, truly suck. What's in the can? Russell, I have been loving these uh, wild basin boozy sparkling waters. Everybody has a version of these now. Everybody does. Um, Topo Chico, do they do... Um, I think Bud Light came out with some Coors Light. And then there's, you know, the Trulies and the, um, oh gosh, there's so many now. But these are new. And I love the flavors. They have strawberry coconut and yum berry. And they had pineapple habanero. Did I see Karen? Hey, Karen, I did see you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for listening while you're driving. So what else has been going on, guys? Charlotte, how's the garden? Son of a pizza man. He's in Chicago. That's on my list of places I'd like to visit one day. Hey, Chris. Mike's Hard Lemonade. You know, that's what I haven't tried, but that one's really, really popular, too. I see it. I just haven't picked it up. Was it good? Did you like it? So I tried to do the two-camera thing, guys, and I haven't figured it out. So I had my phone set up 
and then my laptop and I was actually going to use my phone to do the shot where I was preparing the food and there was just a whole lot of like you know feedback I mean it sounded like the uh, uh, the fire alarm was going off in here <laughs> didn't work so we're back to uh, you guys are going to take a little ride here in a little bit when I when I start cooking gardens are growing beautifully yes yeah, spring is amazing we went out to the property and you know all the trees out there we weren't sure they were all going to come back because of the crazy hard freeze but some of those trees they're so big and established you know they've been through lots of freezes but just took them a little longer but they're finally starting to come back it looks so pretty out there hey wendy how's it going So here in just a couple minutes, guys, when I started in about nine minutes, we'll start in on this chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. Can you can you go adjust the air for me? Can you go? Thank you, babe. Yeah, you it's so hot in here, you guys. We've been painting, um, starting to prep the house to put it on the market later this year. <sighs> it's so crazy to think we'll be selling it. Hey, Darnell, thank you for coming in, my friend. Yes, Charlotte, thankfully they are because, you know, we just have that the handful of big trees that they left, you know, where we're building and uh, they cleared it out pretty good, you know, so we'd have been really sad to say goodbye to any of those big trees. Hello, Jennifer Hammond, welcome. We're going to start cooking here in just a minute. We're just kind of chit-chatting and catching up a little bit. And tonight I'm going to make a chicken bacon ranch quesadilla for you. And then here in a little bit, I'm going to show you how I might make a rum punch. We're going to revisit the 1990s, guys, with a rum punch. Well, hello, Finkatesh Food Tips. Welcome. Got some new faces in here tonight. That's awesome. Welcome, you guys. So the late night snack, guys, I started doing this last summer and it did a couple lives and then took a break. But now the late night snack live is back. And the whole point of the show is I'm going to share recipes that could be a late night snack or a quick dinner or a quick lunch. Um, really 15 minutes or less is the goal with these recipes, something you can literally throw together and have prepared in just minutes. So uh, the previous ones uh, we did, uh, I made some uh, crescent roll uh, pigs in a blanket. We did a dip. Uh, we need to, I've done some mud cakes. We need to do some more sweet stuff. We need to do some more sweet snacks. Russell, how's it going where you are? Uh, did I hear you say the other night that your pond was completely uh, unfrozen now? It was back to normal? Okay, so guys, I'm going to turn the camera down here in a second. And... Who do I have in here? Let me see if I can go over here on my laptop and Charlotte and uh, Russell, do you want to be a mod? Let's see if I can do this real quick. Sorry guys, my lives are very, very casual as you can tell. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. See if I can do this without having crazy interference here too. Um, Russell, are you the only one doing shots? And I just saw that. Okay, Russell, will you behave if I make you a mod? Charlotte.
Okay, so I'm going to shut um, shut this down here. Is anybody hearing interference? If I leave that open so I can watch the... Uh, I'm not going to do it. Okay. 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 All right. So, guys, I'm going to turn the camera down now just like I do. One day, I'm going to figure out that two-camera thing. But for now, just like last time, you guys, put your seatbelt on. <laughs> And come down and see what's going on down here. I'm going to show you how to make this easy chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. Everybody harnessed in there. It's me just like my videos, guys. But just a lot more exciting. Okay. So, what we have here, my friends, I have my homemade ranch, okay? star of the show chicken bacon ranch quesadilla i'm going to link the recipe for this down below for you um i made this video i guess maybe a year and a half or so ago uh, and it's just so so good i hope y'all try it we need some chicken some ranch some bacon and it's a quesadilla guys so you've got to have some cheese so i'm using this lower fat mexican style cheese um okay i have some tortillas here and then I'm going to go ahead and chop up a fresh jalapeno and put a little bit on it and then of course we're going to need some cooking spray and a nice flat pan so uh, my moderators if y'all could just you know look out for anybody new coming in um, I'm just going to slice a few pieces of this off or dice it rather Ooh, let me get a spoon Sorry, guys. I'm just going to clean this out really, really quick. And no, I'm not wearing gloves. I know. Maybe I should. All right. So, you know, basically, this is just a filling for the quesadilla. And we keep it just really simple. Sometimes I like to put fresh tomato in it, but not all the time. You could certainly do a layer of salsa if you had some prepared or um, definitely serve this with guacamole and sour cream. And if, you know, I took all the seeds out of this portion that I'm chopping guys, but if you want a little bit more heat, you, you know, ooh, you know to, uh, leave the seeds in. So I'm just going to wash my hands real quick, guys. Just in case I manage to touch my face. Nobody got time for that. Can y'all see me okay? Okay. So, Super, super simple. As always with these late night snack recipes, guys. So, I'm gonna take two tortillas. As anybody that's ever made a quesadilla knows you need two tortillas. Ah! And then, ugh, there's flies, I'm so sorry, guys. There's terrible, it's already happening. Does anybody else have crazy flies happening? So we're going to take some of this ranch, guys, and just spread it around the tortilla. I guess I should be heating up my pan but as I'm doing this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't feel totally put together today. My head is in the clouds because of oak pollen. Are you guys a fan of ranch dressing? I've actually met a few people who, who don't like ranch dressing, and that's always so shocking to me. Just like when I meet people that don't like root beer floats. I thought, how could anybody not like a root beer float? All right, so we are going to heat up the pan. I'm going to start in here. I'm going to get the pan a little bit warm, ready to go here.
And then we're just going to layer our stuff, guys. I'm actually going to start off with a little bit of cheese and then put everything in the center. And then you guys get to watch me uh, attempt to lift this onto the screaming hot pan. Excitement abounds. All right, so a little bit of cheese, and then we're just going to layer our ingredients. So a little bit of chicken. And this was just some leftover uh, grilled chicken. This is also a great way to get rid of leftovers. Leftover chicken. Let's shake up some, shake up dinner. Not just your typical, you know, Mexican style quesadillas. All right, so now the fun part. Oh, hold on, guys. <clears throat> Let's spray this down. Not that I don't trust you, tea fowl, and you're not non-stickness, but I'm a control freak. All right, so I'm going to set that there. And the pan is heating up. And then I'm going to put some of these jalapenos. And I like a lot of spice, guys. Jalapenos <laughs> make me happy. And this is turning out to be pretty large. You know, these are some larger tortillas. And I do have the ranch dressing coating both sides. So we're just going to pop this here. And then the real fun to begin when you guys get to see me try to flip this when we get there. All right, so I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Try to avoid major injuries. So how are you guys feeling about this so far? I'll be right back, guys. All right, so our pan is finally getting hot. And so I'm going to do a weird thing, guys, and I'm going to cover the quesadilla. Because I think it'll help the cheese start to melt and maybe it won't be such a disaster when I try to flip it. Russell, are you still taking shots? Ooh, Jennifer, you made a key lime pine yesterday. That sounds delicious. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go back in here. I am so sorry. I am so distracted. My head is everywhere. I'm going to go back in here with a little bit extra cheese because it'll help the tortilla on top uh, stick. There we go. <clears throat> so there we go. So now I'm going to cover this back up. Does anybody else do this when they make quesadillas? Cover them so that... <laughs> Helps them melt. Hey, Skip. Skip, I have a chicken bacon ranch quesadilla on my little griddle pan here. And I'm getting ready to flip it and hope it's not an epic fail. <laughs> Let's see how we're looking. Let's see if I could successfully flip a quesadilla. Yeah, I think we're going to try. All right. So, looky there. Woo! Like I've been doing it my whole life. Russell needs more bacon. And you know, fresh onions would be good on this too, guys. I just, uh, 
<clears throat> just thought, you know, thought about that. I typically don't put onions on it, but you know what? They sure would be good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. This little burner, you know, I picked this thing up for ten dollars at Walmart. You know, I don't know, a year ago. I haven't sprung for one of the fancy convection, you know, ones. But it gets so hot so quick. It does the job. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys. I'm telling you what. But it's done. So we're going to take it off. Nobody freak out. All right, so it's always exciting, guys. Live cooking at its finest. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Woo, I can't wait till we have a kitchen with an island. All right. So hold on, guys. I'm gonna reach in here and see if I can see my pizza cutter. All right, so pizza cutter time. And then, you know, from here, guys, you know, chicken, bacon, ranch, quesadilla, you can do what you do with, you know, other Tex-Mex, Mexican-style quesadillas. And you can top this with sour cream, salsa, pico de gallo. And there you go. Have a bite. So I'm going to turn the camera back up now. I hope you guys will enjoy that recipe. It is super quick. It's slightly dangerous. <laughs> All right, guys. Woo! Got me working over here, friends. Russell, you would probably slap some Miracle Whip on this, wouldn't you? Hey, Carrie. Hey, Stephen. Who all came in while I was down here working? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sue's Home Kitchen. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, a keto key lime pie and whipped cream. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hey, Tim Keegy, welcome. I'm kind of scrolling back through, guys. Russell's on shot number two. What are you taking shots of? Are you doing raspberry rock shot, Russell? And if I haven't said hi to anybody, you know, guys, just say hi again. But I hope y'all will enjoy that. Do you ever make quesadillas with that, or do y'all keep, you know, keep them pretty traditional uh, Tex-Mex Tex -Mex or Mexican flavors? Mmm, so good with the bacon. <laughs> Grunk this. Yes, it was a nice save. Yeah. You heard that crunch, Stephen. Yeah, I got nice and toasty. I'm telling you, that that little pan, you can't walk away. I mean, that little burner, you know, you can't walk away from it. Charlotte's on number two of the peach ice cream. Ooh, that sounds good. Did you make it, Charlotte, or did you buy it? Anything between tortillas is a quesadilla. Absolutely. 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 So here in a second, I'm going to pull you guys back down to my little table again. I'm going to figure that two camera thing out. I just couldn't, um, I don't know why there was so much interference. Well, I mean, obviously there was, they were very close together, but I have to figure that out, how to do that. I have a laptop and a cell phone and, but we will figure it out. Ooh, you know, Grumpus, leftover barbecue and quesadillas 
is always a good idea. I'd like to do like a pulled pork quesadilla. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, it's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells so good. Do I have any non-ranch dressing fans in here? Like I said, I have met a couple people who were like, I can't stand ranch dressing. So I'm going to cover this up real quick, though, just because I have that pesky flying visitor in here with me right now. Ugh, so aggravating. Brisket quesadillas. That sounds so good. We haven't made a brisket in forever. Like, you know, haven't smoked, you know, smoked one outside. I could do the thing, like I can make a mean brisket in the oven or even in the crock pot. Don't get mad, my barbecue people. Hey, Tim. Oh yeah, ooh, Hawaiian barbecue sauce. I'll be right back, guys. Yes, Leanne, the brisket quesadillas. It's going to have to happen. Somebody's going to have to make me some brisket. I have to get my hubs to do that. Yeah, so I highly recommend these. So good. They're not sweet. They are not sweet at all. They're just like, you know, the uh, sparkling water, like almost like a Perrier or something. All right, so guys, I'm gonna set my quesadilla. I'm actually gonna put it in my my oven, which my oven is cool, but just to keep the critters away from it. Um, but let me get some ice and glass. And then here in about three minutes, I'm going to show you, because I'm about ready for a refill, and I'm going to go ahead and make uh, this rum punch for you guys. Super, super simple. In fact, I had everything here for it. The only thing I had to go get was I had to go get some grenadine. I had some grenadine up there, but I had had it for a long time, and I just wasn't sure about how good it was anymore. Tastes like Hawaii. Oh, be right back, guys. So, guys, back in the 90s, some of you, I think most of us were <laughs> around in the 90s. Um, what what drinks did y'all like? Like, when y'all went out to, you know, happy hour or out dancing with your friends or something, like, what were the popular drinks? For me, it was always rum punch. Those were always on special. Those nasty kamikaze shots, those were always on special. Um but it was mostly rum punch and the kamikazes. And then of course, you know, the, you know, beer specials and things that were on, but a rum punch for me brings back so many memories. Such a fun drink. Ooh, vodka tonics and Seagram's and seven. Seagram's and seven was another one. Oh, sea breeze. Yeah, so this is one of those ones that brings back memories of being out and about with my my peeps back in the day. Brandy Alexander. Ooh, I've never had that. No, but it sounds really good, uh, Stephen. Oh, tequila sunrise. Yeah, and of course tequila shots. Everybody's had that night. You know, that night. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's time. I'm going to go ahead and turn you down. We're going to make a quick rum punch. And then we'll chat for a little while longer. 
my moderators out there. I mean, if anybody has any questions or comes in, you know, just say hello. Okay. All right, guys. Another super simple one here. All right. So we have Malibu. And if you were watching this, I'm going to push some of this stuff out of the way. If you were watching, you know, the last late night snack, I had Malibu and pineapple. And we made a skinny, um, a skinny drink with it. Anyhow, so guys, Malibu, a little bit of grenadine, pineapple juice, and a little bit of orange juice. Super simple. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start, guys, just a shot of Malibu. And if you don't have Malibu around, you know, you can use any other white rum you've got or even a dark rum would work. Okay, so put that out of the way. And then we're just going to go with, like, equal parts of these two juices, guys. So just kind of eyeball it. That was pineapple juice going in. It's a little bit of orange juice. And then here's just a little bit of grenadine. Going to go right over the top. There you go. Time travel to the 1990s. <laughs> There's your rum punch. Yeah, these are so good and they're so sweet. I'm just going to sip on this one. I actually don't have a short straw. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, my everyday wife life. Welcome. A little earlier in the live stream, we made, or I made for everybody, a chicken bacon ranch quesadilla. And then we just made a really simple uh, rum punch. So I will actually leave this live stream up. And I don't edit these guys. I don't edit them at all. I will put timestamps where the recipes start. And then the rest will just, it is what it is. Here you go, Steven. Cheers. Charlotte, I think you would like it. It's definitely pineapple-y. And it's so pretty. And if you wanted to garnish it, it would be actually really cute with, you know, a piece of pineapple on a skewer, a maraschino cherry, or just a lime wedge on the side, it would be perfect. Mommy. Hey, baby. Come say hi. Are you going to say hi? Mm. Oh, you're going to knock me over. You say hi. Mm. Yeah, Easter Bunny. Props from the Easter Bunny. Watermelon. Mark watermelon flavored airheads. Can I have one? Go have it. <laughs> the Easter Bunny this year um, mostly brought airheads. mostly airheads, and then we had caramels and Jolly Ranchers. Not a lot of chocolate this year. We did have a chocolate bunny. They did get a chocolate bunny. Maybe chocolate bunny. Thanks, Charlotte. Hey, Laura, welcome, my friend. So how did Easter go, guys? What did y'all do? Did y'all have family over? Did you go to church? We've been watching our church service actually online. Uh, they're live streaming on Saturday or Sundays, sorry. Hey, Kissy Cat, welcome. Thanks for coming in.
we just hung around here, just the four of us, and uh, did a non-traditional Easter meal. I didn't do a ham and all this stuff. I did uh, air fried catfish, which actually turned out so good. I did a pot of country style green beans that they simmered all day. Um, we did baked potatoes, and then I did an old fashioned pineapple casserole, and then I made homemade dinner rolls, and it was real good. We didn't do the ham and you know, all that real heavy food. Grumpus hunted eggs, and then the grandnieces and nephews, awesome. Wendy says her Easter was very low key. Thanks, Wendy, it was actually very nice. We just chilled at home and just cooked a, a much simpler meal. Tim says his daughter made shrimp spring rolls and an awesome peanut sauce. See, I think, you know, people are kind of straying away from like traditional foods a lot. And sometimes that's really fun. Ooh, you went to skydive? Ooh, I don't think I'd be brave enough to ever do that. My husband wants to go. Everyday wife life, she went to, y'all went to the beach. That sounds nice miss the beach. I grew up on the coast and I'm about two and a half hours away from it now. Gotta love carrot cake. Kissy cat went out for fajitas. You know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Just take it easy. And supporting local businesses. So what's coming up next? Like Mother's Day, right? <clears throat> April, May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, my mom's birthday just passed. My mom turned 83. So that was exciting. We went down there uh, the, the weekend after her birthday and hung out with her and spoiled her a little bit. When's your birthday? Well, you don't have to say exactly, but it's here in, is it in April, Chris? Oh, Millie's going to be five this week. Oh, Krampus. That just, that made my whole night. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. I got to say, it truly is. That's one that sometimes I want to make for like actually holiday breakfast. Like it could work like a coffee cake almost. I've never made sushi, but I, maybe I'll have to try that. Has anybody else made sushi? I'd love to eat it, <laughs> but I've never made it. That's something we usually go out for. Oh, well, Russell actually made a video where him and Alicia, uh, they made sushi, and it looked real good. What kind of sushi was it, Russell? Were they tuna rolls? Was that tuna or salmon? That's awesome, Tim. Yeah, when you've got to go buy the special roller, you know, the special roller thing. I don't even know the words. I don't even know the technical terms. Well, that's cool, Tim. Well, that's definitely, those skills have definitely come in handy with sushi. Salmon, shrimp, tempura, and fake crab. You know what? That's awesome. I actually love the imitation crab. That's what I grew up kind of eating. You know, we I grew up on the coast, and we ate a lot of fresh shrimp and flounder. Um, but, for you know, for some reason, we always had the imitation seafood around. We made the seafood salad, another kickback to the 1980s, 90s. I still love that seafood salad.
Is anybody else having trouble? Salted caramel cappuccino cheesecake. Everyday wife, like that sounds yummy. Jennifer, that's awesome. My birthday is the entire month of October. Laura, is it better now? Is it still buffering on your end? Yeah, you know, Charlotte, I remember that. I think I'm actually going to put out a recipe for the seafood salad I make because I like to make the seafood salad subs at home. So I'll share how I do it. Love California rolls. If I do the sashimi, I like yellowtail and tuna and salmon. Yeah, I've not had, um, you know, from right here where I'm watching, I'm on my phone. Uh, I've not seen any uh, buffering or pausing or anything on my end. Self-care month, is that uh, April? Yeah, salmon, salmon sashimi. <laughs> I was trying to say that right. That's so good. I love it. No buffering everyday wife life. Thank you. Grandpa says it's okay. I haven't tried halibut, Tim. But I love the yellowtail. It's so good. My birthday is between Christmas and payday, so I have adopted Mother's Day as my official holiday. I love it. It's awesome. September is uh, Everyday Wife Life. Can, I'm sorry. Can you remind me of your first name? Would you mind telling us your first name? Guys, I just recently followed uh, my Everyday Wife Life, and I was fortunate to have her follow me back. Her channel looks awesome. So you guys be sure to check each other out. There's so many great people in this chat. Wonderful, wonderful content creators and wonderful support friends here. August 27th. Oh, Kizzy Cat, thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I'm so glad y'all enjoyed it. Yes, we, my kids love that one. They still like, every time I make that, they're like, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. I'm sorry, Laura. Charlotte says uh, she's on the Mississippi coast. Seafood boils are a thing here. Crabs, shrimp, crawfish. Oh, yes, it's so good. I've been, like, craving a crawfish boil. Kissy Cat, thank you so much. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. That just that makes my whole day to hear that. And the Grump, is, his family enjoyed that honey bun cake. It's good stuff. Thank y'all very much for giving them a try. Oh, a Cinco de Mayo is coming up. When is Mother's Day this year? I don't know. Does anybody know the date for Mother's Day? I could probably look that up. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Mother's 
May 9th. That's actually my sister's birthday. Tim's on the California coast. Ooh, Chapino. I've, I've not tried that, but I've seen it. It looks delicious. July 4th. <clears throat> Is that your birthday, Grumpus? Husband's birthday is Cinco de Mayo, and every year there's a party. Of course, there has to be. And Grumpus, it is uh, July 4th your birthday? I actually have a brother-in-law whose birthday is the 4th of July also. So that's, that's really cool. My birthday's in October. Kissy Cat says she's in Clear Lake. Okay, yeah, yeah I know where that's at. Going fishing tomorrow in Galveston. Oh, nice. Yes, we do. We get crawfish, but I think, um, I do think they're mostly like imported over from Louisiana, unless they're farmed here somewhere. Your hubby's birthday's in October. Everyday wife life. Michelle. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Michelle. Florida. Yep. Love Florida. It's been way too long since I've been over there. Yeah, you know what, Kissy Cat, when I was growing up, I had the only October birthday in my family. I was the only October baby. And then my older brothers and sisters grew up and they started having children and like all their babies were born in October. They totally stole my thunder. And now like October is the busiest birthday month. Carrie's is in June. October, October 31st. Oh, and he was born on the day. Yeah, I'm closer to the beginning of October. But growing up, I had a lot of like Halloween theme parties. February 8th. You, know, you want to know what's funny is <laughs> I have a very good friend whose birthday is February 8th. And my husband's birthday is actually February 7th. We are all like right in the same, <laughs> right in the same, I don't know what the word is, star cycle or something. <laughs> you need to come to our place in Panama City, do a live video for my outdoor kitchen, then we can all go to the beach. You know what? I am totally down for that. Totally down. Road trip. December 13th, seven years apart. Wow, that's so cool, Charlotte. That's wild. February 12th, Valentine's Day. And my favorite, yep, we've got a busy February. My son's birthday is also in February. His birthday is actually on Groundhog's Day. So February 2nd every year. So we've got busy Octobers and busy Februarys here too, guys. Short fuse and everything. Mine's October 11th. Yes, Charlotte, I will make that stop to Mississippi. I'm telling you, it's happening. We're already talking about actually trying to make a road trip this summer to Virginia. So we are going to head all through that way. I'm looking so forward to it. We missed traveling so much last year. 
uh, we've been trying to do an annual big road trip with the kids. Um, and we didn't do that last year because of, you know, everything. But we did go to a dude ranch that was, um, you know, about 50 miles away. And it turned out to be an amazing experience. I never made that video. Never made that video, but I need to do it. Absolutely gorgeous, lovely, wonderful place that we just kept overlooking. Yeah, well, Carrie, I think I, I'm I'm 85% sure, 85, um, that the road trip to Virginia is going to happen. And we'll be going to, um, I'm not sure where you are, but it would be like uh, around Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yeah. Yes, Kissy Cat. It was in Bandera. Um, the, the Dixie dude. You, you uh, can come with us to Virginia. October 22nd for Wendy. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are like all in the same, in the same astral sphere. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Definitely the rum is hitting me now. <laughs> There are a few really cool um, uh, dude ranches in Bandera, actually, and uh, but we would definitely, hands down, a thousand percent, go back to Dixie Dude. It was um, amazing. Are you serious, Carrie? Oh my gosh, we have family that just moved over there, and um, we've been talking to them about coming over there and um, visiting with them this summer. That I'm telling you, it's a sign. But guys, I'm probably going to shut this down just a little bit early. We are at 52 minutes. And I hope you guys try the quesadilla and I hope you have a rum punch. And thank you guys so much for um, coming out and hanging out with me. And yes, for sure, Carrie. If that road trip happens, uh, I'm totally going to hit you up. And, and Charlotte will make a trip to come see you. We'll stop. And then we'll we'll try to swing through and do the Florida, too. I would love that. I would actually love to do uh, Disney. We've never done Disney with the kids. I've never been to Virginia, but it looks absolutely amazing. It's beautiful there. I'd love to see it in the fall. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you. Yes, YouTuber travel tour for sure. Make a big video about meeting up with everybody. It would be amazing. Okay, Carrie, I'm going to write that down. I'll, 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 put you, I'll save that email for sure. Thank you, Chris. Guys, thank y'all so much. Take care. I'll see you next week. I'll see you in the next video, too. Bye.